Proceed to route. This is when I can, you know, June, 
June 1st, I think, or June something. That's when the loads were available to me because they were gone. It was like no contracts in my area. Everybody took them up, especially my first year. My first year, they were giving, I was making like 6000 a week. It was crazy. And I thought that was all because I just came in the game. I'm like, you got to be more money in there. But that was pretty good, you know, 6000 a week. Going to Cali and back, I was, you know, but the spot market was paying a little bit more. You know, the spot market, I was getting paid by like 10000 a week, but I wasn't calculating downtime and all that other stuff, so it actually equaled out to be the same. So, but, uh, but yeah, but we're gonna do this for the full year, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna compare and contrast uh, this year compared to last year, you know, uh, if it's the same, if it's more, or what, what's going on, you know, uh, you know, last year I only worked six months from June to the, to the, you know, first, first of the new year, um, so, yeah, we're gonna see what we're doing, we're almost to our destination, as you can see, pop-up map here this is how the app works it's very simple easy um, I'm about to try to blur out some of these numbers on here because I don't know I don't want to get in trouble from Amazon showing too much stuff and all that other stuff it's, you know, I show you guys teach you guys and I just want to don't want to take anybody off at the same time but uh, this is how it is on every one. Usually what I do is I uh, copy and paste the address. I put it in my uh, Apple map. And I follow my Apple map. But I always have this map on silent in the background. Uh, just because you want to use the interface. You don't have to use it. But they do rate you on using their... Uh, using their interface or using their map or using the app you know because literally i could go on there i already know the all the numbers everything is already predetermined i can write it down and just never use the app and when i get there just give them the number and all that stuff because very rarely do they um, scan you're going to see here in a minute as you get really close a barcode will pop up and uh you know, some places they do scan, but that's only when you have to walk into the building. Sometimes they scan it. Majority of the time, they just ask for the last uh, four of the digits just to verify because everything is connected to your license plate number. So right now, they already know I'm here. Uh, as you can see, bam, popped up. I just press in navigation, bam, everything comes up. So when I pull up to this gate up here, one, they already know I'm here because the app already notified whoever's gonna be looking up my stuff. And second, when I pull up to this gate here, they're gonna be recording my license plate. And the person on the other end is going to be, uh, is gonna be typing in my license plate, it's gonna pull up all my information. They just want me to verify everything. Yo, last four, verify, okay, bam, you going here. Sometimes they don't even talk. Like sometimes, uh, especially when I pull up here, if it's ready, they just tell me on the screen. They don't even look right now. See how how it closed and then opened up. So you know, I'm at I'm at dock door. Uh, let's see. Yeah, look, see, it's already updating. And I can see it. That there's a screen over here. I would take the camera off the dash and show you, but you guys seen it before. The little green screen. Check in DD 173, Dark Door 173. So my load's already ready to go. Look like I'm just waiting for uh, this dude right here. He could have went around, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully that all mess, mess me up. Yeah, here we go. There you go. No, there's no internet service. Who's that one? Dark Door. 173, 173, just in case. Because sometimes the internet, at least here, doesn't work that great. There we go. Tell me what dock door, the trailer I'm picking up. And, uh, 
Yeah. And I'll show you what what to do when you pick up your trailer and everything like that. I'm going to try to blur out some of these numbers on here. Like I said, I don't know what is... Uh, pretty sure the trailer number uh, it really doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, I think this screen is fine. Dark door trailer number. So when I, when I go to pick up... When I go to pick up this trailer, I'm just going to verify the trailer. I'm just going to verify the last four of the trailer through the app. And it's going to let me know, like, if I put in the wrong last four, they're not going to let me pick up the trailer. Um, so, and sometimes they don't even have the trailer number on there, like, if you're picking up an empty. But um, you have to type in the full trailer number. And, uh, you know, that's another story. But I'll just show you the basics right here. When we pulling up in here, in here. I'm gonna keep this video nice, short, sweet. But I'm gonna keep the night going. Y'all just gonna see this first part, then y'all gotta tune in for the next part, baby. Let's see here. We're looking for Dark Door 173. I'm happy it's ready. Usually my stuff's never ready when I get here. Usually I gotta wait 15 minutes before my departure time. But, uh,. Look like they uh, cleaned some stuff up. We got it a little bit more organized tonight. Uh, let's see here. Sixties. Sixty-seven. You always want to do your pre-trip before you leave the door, just in case, so you're not doing extra work. If it's uh, something wrong with it, you got to put it right back in the door. I didn't look and see how heavy we are. Set that down. Got a little seal over here. I know we're always somewhat heavy. <sighs> One hander. Make sure that top is good. Make sure the bottom's good. Just put the seal on. All right, we got our seal on. Let's get up out of here. Hopefully. That guy doesn't block the gate. You don't see how generous he is. Sit here. Alright. So after you verify and all that good stuff, the BOL and all that's going to pop up. Uh, 
if a BOL do not pop up, you gotta ask them to print one out up here at the gate, which I rarely have to do that, but I have done that before. But uh, you always want a BOL. So we are 15,000, just under 16,000, uh, 16,000 pounds. We're like 15, 15,554 thousand pounds at night before I leave the yard I like to make sure all my lights are working you know sometimes you make a little turn here or there the lights will flicker off if I see that I have like these little toothpicks I keep in here with me and I just jab a little toothpick in there and call it a day and call it a day uh, but we're gonna get out here get on the road like, share, subscribe. Holla at your boy. Peace. I just rolling trucking. What's going on, man?